Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 scariest videos of the year. Number 1. A girl named Carrie recently posted a video to TikTok of something bone chilling. Her paranormal experiences began in 2007 when she was about 10 years old. Growing up, Carrie would often see shadow figures, mainly in her dark room as she was laying in bed. And it looks like, even to this day, these figures are still around. Recently, Carrie and her boyfriend were watching some scary videos on YouTube, but things quickly took a turn as they began to experience something themselves. Carrie thought she saw something move the curtains next to her boyfriend, so she began recording and managed to catch this. <gasps> oh, Jesus, hell! That was what, what is it doing? What is it doing? What in the fuck? While Carrie was filming the curtains, what looks like fingerprints appear. Her skeptical boyfriend tried to dismiss this by saying it was caused by the fan, but there's no denying that these look to be indents from someone on the other side. And showing fear is only giving this thing power. So the next time this happens, I recommend Carrie to beat the shit out of those curtains. Number 2 A man that goes by DinoNugget741 on TikTok has been living with a dark presence in his home for some time now, and it's become very clear that the force in his home is definitely targeting him. Well, after dealing with this entity and catching undeniable proof that his house is haunted, he's finally decided to move out. But before leaving forever, he decided to record one last video, and what happened next is truly terrifying. If you want me now, man, take me. I'm leaving. I'm tired of this shit.
Let's have it out, man. I'm leaving. Just let me get my sh and go. After making his way upstairs and saying, if you want me now, then take me, the door slams behind him and violent bangs can be heard coming from one of the doors. Clearly equipped with balls of steel, he decides to go back into the basement. But as he peers up the stairs, a dark figure can be seen walking past. Moving from right to left, this terrifying being is the culprit for all the activity in this house. Hopefully this terrifying figure doesn't follow Dino Nuggets to his new place, but if it does, I'm sure we'll see videos on TikTok. If you're enjoying the video so far, then make sure to smack that like button. Number 3 Over on the Rusty Tucker YouTube channel, a man set out to explore the Evergreen Cemetery in Arkansas. According to legend, in the early 1900s a young mother had a baby who disappeared near this cemetery. She searched the area for several days and nights, but was later found dead in the exact same cemetery. Her body was then buried where she was found, and it's said that her ghost still wanders these grounds in search of her baby. Well, after hearing eerie sounds of crying and moaning, Rusty decided to stay in his truck and use his drone to explore the cemetery from the air. As his drone flew over the cemetery, an eerie figure can be seen crouched next to one of the graves. And as the drone hovers in place, the figure gets up and quickly runs into the darkness. Rusty isn't quite sure what to make of this footage, but could this actually be the restless spirit of the woman who died here? You decide. Number 4 Ever since a young age, paranormal experiences have seemed to follow TikTok user Deadpan Sam as well as his family, which eventually led to him ghost hunting as a way to make sense of it. Well, during one of his investigations back in 2018, Sam found himself at the Sorrel Weed House in Savannah, Georgia. Infamous for its dark history and violent deaths, visitors often claim to be touched, hear voices, and often see shadow figures. Well, during Sam's investigation, he set up several static cameras around the property. And while he was reviewing the footage later on, he noticed something absolutely terrifying. In the middle of the night, the camera in the basement managed to catch a dark figure walking past the glass door. The figure walks into view from the right side and lingers for a few brief seconds before disappearing. Sam claims that there was no one else on the property at this time and he has no idea who or what this could be. But whoever it is, they look to be a little camera shy. Number 5 a man named Ian runs the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel, where he often challenges himself to investigate some of the most haunted locations in the Midwest. With each investigation, he has high hopes of gathering evidence of the paranormal. And in his most recent investigation, he did exactly that. Back in August, he set out to investigate the Roselawn Cemetery located in Minnesota. And he bravely decided to do this completely alone. According to local legend, there's a ghost often seen on the property known as Smiling Jack, 
and he's said to be haunting one of the mausoleums in the cemetery. Ian began his investigation at 10 p.m., ready to confront Smiling Jack. I would start the night off searching the cemetery for any wandering spirits that may be present. Hello? Are there any spirits out here with me? I would go door to door to various mausoleums. Hello? Seeing if I can make any contact with any resident spirits inside. Is there anybody in this mausoleum? Could you knock back? The mausoleums are kept locked, untouched by the living. Would any of these supposed spirits give me some sort of sign of their existence? Could you make a knock sound? If you are here. After visiting multiple mausoleums, Smiling Jack unfortunately never showed up, but that changed just a little while later into the investigation. It was now time to pay a visit to Smiling Jack's mausoleum. Smiling Jack? Are you in there? Jack, if you're in there, could you make a noise? Whoa. Could you do that again? You can clearly hear this faint tap echo inside the mausoleum, yet there is nothing inside that could cause it. Whoa, what the f Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, I just caught a face. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, I just caught a face in there. Oh my god. I had just photographed this stunningly clear floating white face inside of the vault. Oh my freaking god, I gotta look at those. What's eerie is that the face appears to be smiling, much like the urban legend suggests. It is smiling. It's a smiling face. And I just captured it. This encounter left me stunned and fairly creeped out. But I was not about to leave. What looks like a creepy smiling face can be seen in one of the photos. Two eyes, a nose, and a grinning mouth can clearly be seen. So it looks like Smiling Jack decided to make an appearance. And as Ian continued the investigation, things got even weirder. If you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. Tap on it just like this. I don't know guys. It seems like he's gone quiet. Oh my god. That scared the living daylights out of me. I have no words to describe what just happened. Smiling Jack is definitely in there. He is in there right now. After taunting this spirit to make its presence known, it finally did once more. I unfortunately was frightened to the point of calling it quits. However, I can at least say that I managed to capture this encounter on camera. I don't know guys, it seems like he's gone. After asking the entity to tap on the window, it did exactly that. 
This is clearly an intelligent response, most likely coming from the legend himself, Smiling Jack. Number 6. The Urban Ghost Hunters YouTube channel is run by a small group of investigators traveling across the country to investigate iconic haunted locations. Their mission is to find proof of the paranormal, and with each video they look to be getting closer. Well, in one of their investigations, they caught some of their best proof to date. The group decided to venture inside the abandoned Oakville Hospital in West Tennessee. Originally opened as a tuberculosis hospital in 1898, it was later transformed into a care home for the mentally ill. Rumors of a haunting inside led them to this location, and what they ended up catching on camera may just prove those rumors to be true. After turning a corner, a pitch black figure looks to be walking down one of the halls. A dark pair of legs can clearly be seen walking away as soon as the investigator pointed his camera in that direction. No one on the team noticed this being at the time until they later reviewed this footage. But according to the urban ghost hunters, they were the only ones in the building at the time. So who or what was walking around them that night? Number 7 TikTok user Bailey is the caretaker of an old theater that he claims is haunted, and his TikTok is full of videos of the eerie things he experiences on a daily basis in the theater. From hearing strange noises to seeing ghostly apparitions, Bailey is positive that there's something paranormal in this old building. And in one of his videos, it's pretty clear that he is not alone. What's up y'all? As always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. After the sensor in the theater was tripped, Bailey went to take a look. Not sure what to expect, he panned his camera around until he eventually saw this. Two dark figures looked to be standing on the balcony, eerily staring down at him. And as soon as he caught a glimpse of these figures, Bailey was paralyzed with fear. And although this video is almost a year old, the activity in this theater is still going strong. Number 8 A man who wishes to remain anonymous runs the Dude My House is Haunted TikTok account. And as you may have guessed, his house is haunted. Over the last 11 years, he's experienced strange things around his home that he just can't explain. But lately, this activity has reached a whole new level. With several cameras set up around his home, he's always ready to catch proof of what he's been experiencing. And recently, he caught a new piece of evidence to add to the collection. Hey everyone, uh, I just want to let everyone know that Eb and I are okay. Um, we're staying at my son's house. We've been there for weeks now. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to stay there, but uh, I was going to go to tomorrow to the house to pick up some some stuff that we desperately need and uh i get this weird ring notification and um i'm, I'm lost for words
Wiley was away from home, his ring camera caught the door to his attic eerily opening on its own. A box came tumbling down, then moments later, the ladder fully extended on its own. Now this is a prime example of what he often experienced in this house. And in his most recent post, he revealed the incident that drove him to leave his home for good. As his wife was in the kitchen, a chair eerily began moving. Next, a cabinet violently flew open, and as he came running into the room, a knife went flying directly towards him. Whatever unseen force manipulated this knife moved it so quickly that it barely shows up on the video. Luckily, he managed to duck just in time and was able to walk away with only a small cut on the top of his head. But clearly, the force in his home is out for blood, and it's a good thing he left when he did. Number 9 Paranormal investigators Celia and Jonathan run a YouTube channel called Paranormal Voyages, where they travel the country in search of evidence of the afterlife. Well, in one of their investigations, they set out to explore the world-famous Clown Motel located in Nevada. Opened in 1985, this creepy motel features 2,000 clowns around the property. And this motel happens to be right next door to a cemetery, which may just explain the strange activity that guests often complain of. Well, towards the end of their investigation, they managed to catch something truly unnerving. You do not want to talk to me anymore? We'll see. Is that a warning? I felt the thump back here. The thump? Because it, 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 that's me. What we just captured is amazing evidence. Just before I feel the back of the chair vibrate, there's a translucent anomaly that goes directly up the clown's leg, then up the back of the chair where I felt the vibration and vanishes. Right after this happens, a male voice comes through the spirit box and says, That's me. What we captured on camera is visual and audible evidence to support my personal experience. Using my energy to move those hands. What do you say? Are you still here? I'm tired. I'm tired. You're tired? Okay. All right, we can respect that. We can respect that. Are you saying that because you don't have the energy to to do what we're asking, is that why? I'm gonna put my hand right here. Okay? What? Whatever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear that strange whirring sound? Yeah. Are you making that happen? Whoa, wait a minute. What was that? I just captured something at his hand, his left hand. What was that? What, what did you see, John? It, it looked like a manifestation, of a mist. Went straight across its leg and hand, its left hand. I don't. The chair was vibrating a little bit. I don't know if it's. Was that you? Are you trying to move his hand now? Thank you for that. It disappeared in frame on on its leg. I don't. The same anomaly we captured earlier shows up once again beside the clown, then disappears. 
It seems that they're trying to move the clown's hands and their energy is being picked up by our infrared cameras while attempting to do so. All right, we want to turn the spirit box off now. Can you tell us goodbye? Goodbye. 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 Coincidentally, after saying, I wish his hands would have moved, both of the clown's hands fell to his sides one by one. The investigators ruled out vibration as being the cause of this movement, as they had been walking around this clown all night. Now my question for you is, would you stay at this motel? Because I think I would, but if I saw this oversized clown move, it's getting a roundhouse kick to the forehead. Number 10. Over on the Urbex Hill YouTube channel, a man named Chris bravely decided to venture back inside a place he refers to as the back rooms in real life. During his first exploration of this old abandoned building, something began affecting him, causing Chris to get sick. And when he later reviewed his footage, his stomach dropped at the sight of what he caught. Feeling brave, Chris began his investigation with extra caution, knowing there's something dark lurking inside. I'm back. This is probably a very bad idea. And as he made his way through the rotting halls, something bone chilling was caught on camera. Disembodied male voice could be heard inside the room. Although Chris didn't hear this voice while recording, there's no denying that something was trying to communicate. It's a weird noise in this room. With his flashlight pointed ahead, Chris wandered down an ominous dark hall, unaware of what was about to happen. As Chris aimed his camera up towards a grate, something could be seen moving inside. The sudden terrifying movement sent Chris sprinting down the hall, and I don't blame him. But as Chris made it back up to ground level, his IR camera caught something absolutely terrifying. A ghostly white apparition was caught walking through the room downstairs. This misty transparent figure moved from right to left before disappearing into the wall. And unfortunately for Chris, just a few minutes later, he would have a terrifying encounter with this entity. I got the IR camera set up at the top floor.
those gotta be raccoons. I can hear them up there. As Chris took a seat, something violently threw him to the ground, knocking him out. And if we take a look at the footage from his IR camera, we can see this spine-chilling moment unfold. As he sat checking his phone, an unseen force abruptly yanked him to the floor. And Chris is a pretty big fella, so the amount of strength this entity had to have to make this happen is downright terrifying. Now if you'd like to see more of Chris and his terrifying adventures, then make sure to check out the Urbex Hill YouTube channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this.